In the year 2000, Houston, Texas, witnessed a shocking pair of murders that not only rattled the local community, but also sent shivers down the spines of sci-fi enthusiasts who saw it as a bizarre case of life imitating art. Within a span of just one week, two women, both bearing the name Mary Morris, met a gruesome fate in Houston. The unsettling similarities between the victims, from their names to the method of their murders and the locations of their bodies, led many to believe that a sinister connection existed between the two cases. The eerie question lingered. Was a serial killer drawing inspiration from the Terminator, the Terminator travels back in time to kill the woman named Sarah Connor in order to stop a woman with that same name from giving birth to a man who would kill the cyborg's masters in the future, turning fiction into sickening reality? The residents of Houston found themselves on edge, uncertain of who could be the next victim among any woman named Mary Morris. Let's delve into the lives of these two unfortunate Mary Morrises, starting with Mary Henderson Morris. A respected loan officer and devoted mother, Mary Henderson vanished on a seemingly ordinary morning. Her husband, Jay, and daughter, Marilyn Blaylock, reported her missing when an abandoned, burned car was discovered in a vacant field. Tragically, Mary's charred remains were found inside, with numerous puzzling questions surrounding the circumstances of her death. Just four days later, the Morris family faced a bizarre twist. Marilyn, attempting to retrieve her mother's personal effects from the coroner's office, found herself in a surreal episode of The Twilight Zone. The body on the table wasn't her mother, but another woman named Mary Morris, Mary Maginnies Morris. Mary Maginnies Morris, much like her namesake, shared eerie similarities both in life and death. A professional woman with a suburban life, she was discovered beaten and shot in a different vacant lot. The unnerving parallels raised the haunting question, who could harbor such a motive to kill two Marys? Authorities focused on two potential suspects for Mary Maginnies Morris's murder Dwayne Young, a nurse with a disturbing obsession, and Mike Morris, Mary's husband. Young's infatuation reached alarming levels, leading to his firing just days before Mary Maginnies disappeared. She had even armed herself with a handgun, fearing for her safety. As investigators delved into the tangled web of suspects, the Morris household revealed troubles in paradise, with allegations of infidelity surfacing. Mike Morris, the husband, became a person of interest, especially with a substantial life insurance policy and mysterious circumstances surrounding the case. The mysterious phone call, unexplained actions, and the use of Mike's gun as the murder weapon raised suspicions. Despite the mounting evidence, a conviction proved elusive. Mike and his daughter relocated to West Virginia, leaving the lingering question, was Mary Maginnies Morris's murder connected to Mary Henderson Morris's? Once the fantastical theory of a homicidal cyborg was dismissed, investigators grappled with whether the two crimes were interconnected or merely a macabre coincidence. The similarities in names, appearances, murder locations, and methods left many speculating that a hit on Mary Maginnies went awry, claiming the life of Mary Henderson by mistake. An anonymous caller suggested they got the wrong Mary Morris, emphasizing the possibility of a hit gone wrong. However, investigators, despite acknowledging the close dates, remained unconvinced. Harris County Sheriff's Detective Wayne Kuhlman emphasized that hitmen typically operate with precise information, casting doubt on the theory. As of now, both cases remain cold, leaving us with a chilling reminder that reality can indeed be stranger than fiction.